We're here at Born Free. I'm Becky Gable, AKA, actually it's Axel. And I've been working with Harley Davidson to put on this exhibit. Axel's Hideout, it's a showcase of eight women's motorcycles. We're gonna walk through each bike and show you guys exactly who owns this bike, why it's here, what they've done with their bike, how they've built it. Come check it out. Axel's Hideout is such a cool initiative. I hope that people come to this showcase and see that it's not just men who are into this stuff. We're out here, we ride motorcycles, we have cool bikes, we do cool shit. My name is Sana from Stockholm, Sweden. Her name is Stabitha Christie. She's a punk rock bike, Harley Davidson shovel head. I've changed pretty much everything on it. So I've made it my own. Five speed transmission, 93 inch motor, dual spark plugs. It's very fast and very fun. I do some of the work myself if I can figure it out. I've learned so much just owning this bike for six years. I found out that my great grandma moved from Sweden to Boston in the 1910s and rode motorcycles. I did not know any of this when I first started. So it was in my blood after all. My name is Audrey Law and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I've been riding motorcycles for eight years now. Kind of just was something that I saw some girlfriends doing. I have a 99 Sportster and I've had it since 2015. When I got it, it was pretty stock. It was more or less like a dad bike, you know, and I just kind of made it my own. I love like vintage things, so it's not like it looks like brand new, but like, mm, I don't know, that's not like super old, you know, where you kind of can't place it. It checks all the boxes for me, and I love this bike so much. Like, I don't ever see myself getting rid of it. My name is Masumi. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. Years ago, I went riding and camping all over Japan. I ride a 1959 Panhead. The whole thing's built by my husband, gold and paint by my friend, Dennis Bobbing. I love this bike so much. I think a big part of Axel's hideout is inspiring women. It's such a safe place for other women who are trying to embark on this journey. I'm pretty fortunate in the sense that I grew up in a motorcycle household. Both my dad and my mom ride choppers. My name is Megan Margison. I'm from Torrance, California, and I ride motorcycles. My bike is a 1964 Harley Davidson Panhead chopper, and it is a South Bay chopper through and through. Fats Noriega designed front end, two into one Dick Allen exhaust. The car tire on the back, it is a 15 inch Volkswagen rim. They call it riding dark side. And one of the things I get the most questions about is my auxiliary fuel tank. My family's thing is long distance trips. So we like to get out of town and ride thousands of miles on our choppers together. I really feel there's no other comparison to being on a bike and being able to experience the environment that you're in, the smells, the temperature, the sights. There's nothing in between you and what's happening around you. You're a part of it. Megan's bike, a long distance chopper, riding with her family cross country. It's a great looking motorcycle. So that's what Harley Davidson is about. We've been about customization and, and kind of allowing people to be themselves for years through our motorcycles. The moment is overdue for something like this. All the girls are way rad. All of them ride their bikes, which I love. They're not just sitting in like a shed. My name is Callie Gibson, or Cinnamon, and I live in Los Angeles. I got my first motorcycle when I was six years old, and then I got my first road bike when I was 18, and then I got my Harley. This is my first real bike, and I've had it since 2015. The lady I bought it from was like a 75-year-old woman, and she was like kind of mean and cold, like very old lady style. She had like a group of girlfriends that she rode with back in the day. So it's kind of cool. It's only been owned by women. And then I had Andy Carter, Pangea Speed, is who built it into a chopper. And I love it. I'm keeping it forever. I'm Yuriko Takeda, and I'm from Japan. When I was 19, I got my first motorcycle. My dream was to cross country in US. This bike is my first bike in the United States, a shovel head. I have a friend who built my chopper, Aki Sakamoto, and no front brake, no digit frame, and a kick start. I don't wanna put on the front brake disc, anything, you know? I just wanna make it simple. My name's Kylie Cassidy, and I'm from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. My grandpa was huge into bikes. Never got to experience it with him, but I always heard stories. 
I spent 10 years around motorcycle clubs, around all those guys, and I was like, I want to do this. It's a 2000 Sportster. The frame's fully chopped. It's up four, out two, and deraked from 30 to 27 degrees, so the handling on it is super, super nice. I'm obsessed with teal colors, mermaids. My husband is a mechanic, kind of done like small little things just helping him with it, but eventually I'd like to learn every aspect of wrenching on my bike. My name's Taylor DeYoung. I'm from Orange County, California, and I've been riding motorcycles for about six years and dirt bikes all my life. My dad is the reason why I got into Harleys. Anytime he's riding, I'm always riding with him. So my bike is a 1975 shovel head. My dad and I built it together. I incorporated the twisted metal in the bars and the sissy bar. Classic look to me. The double headlights, like old school, and. That tank that I got, this guy actually found it in a barn and it's like never been used. And so I was like super stoked on that. When I was building this bike, one thing that I learned a lot was patience. Because <laughs> there was moments where I just wanted to quit and freaking light the thing up in flames. But now that it's done, I feel like proud of myself that I got through it. I noticed there was a lot of little girls that were coming up to my bike and pointing at it and like they're all excited. Yeah, it's amazing. The new generation inspired from this motorcycle show. Being able to see this in real life and like connect the dots and see the girls riding, just being able to show that to everybody is such a special thing. These are women that I've been following for years that fed my fire, that helped me get to where I am. Like if it wasn't for them putting themselves out there, maybe I wouldn't have had the courage to do it. It's a slow progression, but I hope that in the next couple of years, we see more women born free invited builders and more women just making these bikes that are the same as what these dudes are building. I hope to see that one day.